what we have here is a conventional septic tank. It's been in the ground for many years. It's been in disuse. I called in the pumper truck and had it suctioned out completely. And I took the lid off with my tractor and the chain, broke it up, and threw it down inside. But first I used a bar, a six foot steel bar, and threw it down several times to break holes in the tank. The tank is holding some water due to the amount of rain we've had recently. The water tables are up pretty high. So with this job, you only need four items. A six foot steel bar, <clears throat> a two pound hammer, and a large sledge hammer. I'm actually using a 20 pound sledge because I like the surface area on the sledge so I don't miss. So <clears throat> you angle your steel bar at approximately a 60 degree angle in the dirt and you can push it in. The walls on this tank are three inch reinforced with a wire mesh. So I use a small hammer to get it started. that sound you know you're up against the wall of the tank. Then you use your large sledgehammer. <clears throat> now I'm only going to take half swings because the weight of this hammer, the kinetic energy will be enough to drive the bar through. Oh, I forgot to put my goggles on. That's the fourth item. You want to use your goggles. And that splashing sound is the uh, concrete breaking through on the other side. You can see the tip of the bar came through. You just simply work the bar a little bit to drag it out. I'm not in any rush to do this. Probably did 20 minutes at a time, four or five holes, and then do something else and come back to it the next day. So I figure about three hours we'll have this top of this knocked down about a foot. Then I'll bend the wire, break it off, put it in, maybe knock some more holes in the bottom of the tank, and then fill it in. And that way, I'll just have a nice clean area. You never know the tank was here. Thank you for watching.